after two years, two very successful years for the game of Genshin Impact, Genshin is finally ready to deliver the character, the Wanderer, slash Scaramouche, slash the Balladeer, slash the 652 Harbinger. You get it by now. Everyone has been patiently waiting for this moment, and I too cannot contain my excitement for this exact moment in time but for the time being i shall withhold my excitement to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel and like the video that would be pretty cool of you guys ladies and gents it is time to introduce the wanderer strong fatui asking me to be their chaperone <laughs> is this some kind of joke <laughs> think you're funny do you you'll regret that <laughs> Sadly, you won't be there to see it! What a waste of space. I have a lot riding on this, and I need to do what has yet. To be done i need to win a 50 50 on my free to play genshin account now as the time of me making this recording i have yet to actually live pull for scaramouche but i will be showing my live reaction in this video so don't you worry about that now i don't typically exert that much time into this account as i wish i could and it makes it difficult for me to grind the necessary things I need to obtain these new characters at a regular basis, especially without the help of the wonderfully blue shiny gems. Anyway, um, <clears throat> this is my live reaction to my summons. And let me tell you, it did not go according to plan, but it was fun for the most part. All right, Arzan at least, right? Oscar Mouche, Arzan comes home. Arzan comes home. Arzan comes home. Arz okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to do that. Going. Goru comes home. Definitely not a character I was expecting. A new character in this account. Isn't looking the absolute greatest right now. We have 20 more summons. That's all we have. And then we're done. We're done, so. So, here we go. Garmouche, please come home. Here it is. Alright, so this is 73. It is, in fact, 73. Still don't have a Farazon. We are still no Scaramouche. We're a Rain Slasher in. Our luck, seemingly dwindling. This is our chance. This is our last. This is our only chance. This is our only chance to get ourselves a scar on move. And my eyes are shut. They're just shut. I'm not... Wait, that's a 5 star. Wait, my eyes are closed. I, I legit cannot tell who this is. I have a bad feeling it's like Tenari. Let's go! Let's go! We won the 50-50! No way! Oh this, oh, this makes me so happy. This makes me so happy. I'm so glad we won 50-50. We're good. And the Faruzan. Let's go. That's all I wanted. We're done. We're done. It, it, it's done. As you have just witnessed, I have successfully summoned or Scaramouche, slash the Belladeer, slash the 652 Harbinger, slash the Wanderer. You get it by now. And I cannot wait to actually level them up and do everything possible with Scaramouche. And I, I just finally have him on my account. Although I do not have the necessary materials to level him up completely yet, I shall be on a fun journey here to get him leveled up so this will be pretty awesome now for this particular account it is imperative to me to get all the fatui harbingers on this account and it's all a bit for wanted for the 
you know, sole purpose of this account. But it'll be particularly hard to pace myself from here on out because I can't really predict when the next Harbinger would be playable. Heck, I'm still waiting for Roslyn to make an appearance on the banners. Opium, I know, but a man can hope. Now, definitely reading that. So, obviously, Animal Scarabuchini looks so sick. And the little idol animation there. I think that's his heart or something like that, or his vision, I'm not sure. And then the weapon, I'm not reading this, but it gives you normal attack speed as well as uh, normal attack damage, right? Uh, we got the new artifact set, which looks sick. It looks like those things that we fight uh, the boss, right? Or the mechanical stuff. All right, so Desert Pavilion Chronicle. Uh, we get a, when charge attacks, hit opponents the equipping characters normal attack speed will increase as well as their normal you know and charge attack damage will increase oh plundering attack as well right i forgot about that uh oh the constellations i haven't seen this personally so in c1 you get uh when in wind favored state the attack speed of the wanderer in this state is increased by 10 percent I'm assuming this is his E skill. Uh, the wind arrows fired, Gales of her will gain an additional of 25% of his attack as damage. It's cool. Must unlock the passive talent Gales of Rivery first. All right. I just realized we probably need to read, you know, the talents and stuff. Obviously, the normal attacks. He has a three-hit normal attack thing or normal attack string. Charge attack, plunging. Look, doesn't look like the highest thing in the entire planet. But I'm assuming his E skill like makes up for it. And here is his E skill. So wind favored is part of his E skill. So he can't perform plunging attacks in the state. Makes sense. Uh, deal AOE and there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So since we're jumping, jumping expends extra and to increase hovering height. Right, we're not really looking for that. Anyways, get attributes. This is his normal attack damage and his charge attack damage for each skill that he does, right? And then he has 100 points. Cooldown is 6 seconds. That's not bad. Uh, And then his ultimate. Skill damage 5 times of this, which is a lot. That is, that is more than 1,000%. Which is pretty nice. Only 60 energy cost. That is crazy. All right, here is his Jade Claimed Flower. This is what I'm really interested in. I've seen this in the trailer. It looks awesome. He has the capability to gain these buffs, which are Hydro, which you can increase the uh, the floating amount that you can move with his E ability, I think. Uh, Pyro, which you can increase your attack by 30%. Your Cryo Crit Rate, which is insane. <laughs> Uh, Electro, when normal and charge attack hits, you get energy recharge. It makes sense for Electro. I, this all makes sense, actually. Uh, but I'm really glad Hydra isn't, like, healing bonus. So I'm really happy that's how it is. Alright, so his other talent is Gales of Reverie, uh, or however you say that. Uh, he has a 16% chance to abstain the Descent effect? Why is it a chance? Wait, why? What? Why is it a chance? Okay, next time the water accelerates in midair while it, uh, in this instance, the acceleration instance will not consume any points. And he will fire up four wind arrows. Okay, so we've seen the wind arrows though. Uh, the next attack of this 12% increased chance of producing it. Okay, so every time you do it, you get 12% increased chance. And then last but not least, for the passive talents, uh, you get a decrease in um, bows and catalyst. I don't know why I'm doing this, but oh, that is! I can't wait to fly. I actually cannot wait to fly. This is going to be sick. All right. So if I apply this, okay. Are you guys ready? You guys ready? All right. We're gonna fly. Ooh. Wait. Okay. So you can obviously still get damaged. And then the float. Oh, this is so sick. Alright, so we got a Hydra buff from that. 
And after your skill ends, you can plunge. Is nice. That is that is so cool. That is so sick. So something interesting with Xiang Ling, can you like flow with it? You can't. I mean it's kind of a good thing. Okay, so your Ooh, that kind of sucks. Wait. Okay. So sometimes your normal attacks won't recognize where your opponent is if you're that high. So if you're at this high, you're just gonna hit straight forward. It won't know where to hit. That's interesting. All right, keep that in mind, guys. Don't want to get sucked in too quick. All right, so you do that, and then this is just so sick. This is just so 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 sick. Obviously, the damage numbers themselves aren't the craziest thing in the entire planet, but with a better build, we see more potential. But I'm just going in it. He's a Fatui Harbinger. Garamouche, he flies, he floats, he does all of it. So I'm pretty excited and we're going all in. There are a lot of things that have begun to rise in you, like the 3.3 Archon Quest and the brand new permanent game mode, ECG Invocation. Personally, I think it's going to be a pretty interesting patch. Knowing that this permanent time game mode is going to be out, it's going to give us another thing to do in Genshin Impact and it is going to be pretty exciting to learn all the new intricacies of this and how to you know play the most efficient way possible hey maybe I'll finally get to play La Senora <laughs> uh, yeah about that now that I have done this I also wanted to get Barazan on my main account but the thing is it is pretty risky for me to try to get Barazan without the potential to oh yeah it happened oh uh, yeah i may have made a mistake so the exact next multi after the last five star i got which was mona i got the wonder and i have lost my guarantee now which is unfortunate i was just trying to get a farzan and i still didn't get a farzan so now i'm stuck here with no guarantee anymore for the next character so uh, I, I still need a Farzan. So I'm still going to go in deep. I'm going to go in as much as I don't know how many multis I have here just to try to get Farzan. And I did. Oh my, my luck. My luck is horrendous. I now have Farzan right after the character that it didn't want on this account I got. So all right, cool. You know that that's yeah that's just fine <laughs> very regrettable decision my poor lapse in judgment has led to this i have a scaramouche on this account too a scaramouche slash the wanderer slash the balladeer slash the 652 harbinger you get it by now and now it's not the worst thing in the entire face of the planet but he will not see the light of day on this account for a while. Until I can level up the people I need to level up on this account. Because I still have some work to be done here. Now that I have lost my guarantee. It is now up to me to grind back enough to get the next brand new character a patch from now. Ugh. I hope I can win that 50-50 at least. Right now... It seems my future is a little shaky. I'm going to have to grind a lot of gems in order for me to get a guarantee for the next character. I think I need around like 32,000 gems or something like that to fully guarantee. And I'm nowhere near that number. So it's definitely going to be a difficult time for me. But hopefully I can get there. Sooner, rather, rather than later. So, yeah. That'll be a journey for another time. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I did do a different style kind of video for this. Usually, I'd send a first impressions. And then a different video for the summons. And then maybe a different video for, you know, all types of stuff. But this time wanted to bring it all together and put it all into one video so 
so hopefully you guys enjoy it much more than just the regular videos i would put out uh like the impressions and then the summons and then you know whatever it's just a little sporadic i wanted to make one video to sort of encompass all of it together and hopefully it is a much more enjoyable watch than the times before so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and obviously if you guys did like it like it and if you guys want to stick around for more videos in the future i do a lot of attention impact content and yeah that'll be it thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video very soon bye, -bye.